Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Dalapo and you're watching the Libby Crafts channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a brim crinoline alternator. Yes, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I do appreciate you all. So these are the basic things I'm going to be using in this um, video. I have my art wire, the strong one. I have my plier to cut my wire. I have my ribbon. I have UHU glue. I have crinoline and the width of this crinoline is 7 inches. I have my measuring tape. I have my elastic band. I have needle. I also have um, thread. Needle and thread. I have um, my scissors. And I have this um, ready-made felt um, cap. I also have some flowers, trimmings, and um, feathers to embellish my alternator with. I have my art wire cut out, and the length of the wire is 49 inches. 49 inches. Okay. So I'm going to place the two ends together with my thread. I'm going to tie them together. I'm going to tie the two ends together with my thread. I was just trying to double up my thread and I'm going to use that to tie the two ends together like this. The next thing I did was to wrap my wire with a um, ribbon using my UHU glue okay you can use any item of choice you can use trimmings you can use any ribbon any type of accessory you feel you can cover your wire with you know so that's just what I'm doing at the moment Now I've covered my wire with ribbon and um, the next step is just to cut out the crinoline, the length of crinoline that will be required to cover the wire and um, what I did here was just to note the starting point on my wire. I am using a needle to note the starting point so I can measure it round. So I just um, place my needle right there just for me to note my starting point and I take my measuring tape around it like that to get the exact measurement and what I have now is about 47 inches. Remember we overlapped the wire so the measurement reduced by 2 inches. So I'm going to cut out my crinoline using the measurement 47 inches plus 1 inch allowance. Okay. And that is 48 inches so i've cut out my crinoline and i'm going to place it this way so i place my crinoline over my wire like this that's the wire is going to be sitting in between the crinoline okay but before then i'm going to glue the ends of the crinoline together i'm just trying to trim off that part to make it straight i apply a little glue and i'm going to allow it dry a little then place the other end of the crinoline on it like this okay as you can see i just place it on it like that and i allow it dry after which i'm going to insert my wire like this i just place the wire in between the crinoline widthwise and um, i'm going to just um, fix it like that and use my needle and thread can you see what i'm doing the wire is in between the crinoline i cover the crinoline up and i'm going to start sewing loose stitches on that part of the crinoline like this while the wire is sitting in between okay can you see so i just sew loose stitches like that round from one end or from this end like that round As you can see, I've sewn loose stitches around the crinoline like that, and um, I'm just going to drag the thread. Can you see? 
as I, I drag the thread, the crinoline brim becomes curvy. So I'll just drag it and I was just trying to arrange the thread like that and I'm going to secure it right there. I just sew through to tack and secure it right there after gotten what I wanted. Before I tacked, I placed my felt cap on that um, part to be sure it's going to fit there properly. I mean the space I have on the center of the crinoline brain should be enough for a felt cap to sit on it properly you understand so i'm just going to secure right there with my needle and thread i just stack secure tack to secure uh by gathers like that now the next step is for us to attach our crown I'm using the ready-made felt cap. You can use a molded crown, okay? And I'm going to just fix it on the middle or at the center of the or at the center of the crinoline brim like this. I'm going to pick four points. I'm going to fix it on four points at first. I just pick one point like that and use my needle and thread to tack. I tack it right there, like this with my needle and thread i just tack it like that like that please watch this part carefully i'm going to tack it right there after tacking down there that's on the first point i'm going to move to the other side that's the opposite direction like i'm doing north and south okay i come to the opposite side and i'm going to repeat the same thing and tack i've tacked it down on those two points so i'm going to come to my right hand side and secure like that and I go to my left hand side and secure it. So like I'm doing north, south, east and west, okay? Always remember that technique when making fascinators. So after I've done all that, I will now secure it round. That's all those parts I have open. I will now go around and secure them like that. That way, it will make your crown stand well on your crinoline brim. Now I'm done attaching the crown to the brim and the next step is to fix our elastic band. I'm using an elastic band here so I have my fishing line and um, needle to do that. The elastic is about 16 inches long and I'm going to fix it to my heart. Before I did that I placed the alternator on my mannequin head so as to note where my elastic will be fixed. You need to get that part. Place it on your mannequin head so that you know where or how it's going to sit on your head before you fix your elastic so i use my chalk to mark those points so i'm just going to tack my elastic to my heart or alternator this way look at the way i'm placing my elastic like that so i'm just going to tack it like that using my needle and um, invisible thread that's fishing line okay you can use your needle and thread if you want to so i'll just fix that on that end and fix the second part or the other end of the elastic right there I fixed my elastic band as you can see so I'm going to fix my ribbon round the inner part of my heart senator please ignore the gum stains I actually placed a different ribbon earlier I took it off after some hours that's why you're seeing those stains so I'm going to use my glue to fix my ribbon to cover the inner part of my heart senator
done that i'm going to use my trimming to cover the parts that uh, you know we have the parts that we joined the crown and the brim together so we have that part showing so we're going to use our uh, trimming to cover the part As you can see i am applying pressure as i'm placing my trimming on that part so make sure you also allow your glue dry up a little before you place it so i am just going to fix it like that and the next step is for us to embellish when it comes to embellishing it has to do with how you want it now the part that we have the ends of the crinoline joined together right from the beginning i'm going to cover it with roses okay and then feathers embellish this in my little way you can always embellish it anyhow you want to. if you are yet to follow me on my facebook and instagram pages please search for dolly b crafters on facebook and instagram like our page follow us on our pages and um, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please click on the subscribe button tap the bell icon so you don't miss out of any of my tutorials if you also found this tutorial helpful please hit the like button share this video with your friend leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so so much for watching i'll see you all in my next tutorial